Welcome aboard, YouTube shipmates. This is the often imitated, never duplicated, veteran-owned and operated Dapper Dividends. I am your host, Russ. I want to give a big shout out and heartfelt thank you to all the new subscribers. You are what gives me the motivation to keep this thing going and sharing what I'm doing. You know who you are. Thank you. Before we take a tour through the portfolios and what they're doing, I want to tell you why I'm evicting all of my REITs out of the taxable income and moving them to the self-directed IRA. It's for tax purposes. In the United States of America here, what they classify as a non-qualified dividend is something that you have to pay ordinary income taxes on. REITs and MLPs, for instance, are indeed non-qualified dividends. So companies like Realty Income, Simon Property Group, uh, Apple Realty, all of those are non-qualified and you have to pay your ordinary income tax rates every single year. But if they're in a tax advantage plan or account like an IRA or a Roth, you're not paying income taxes on those. You're only paying whatever the income tax you're paying when you take those out in the futures are if they are not in a Roth. If they're in a Roth, you're covered. That money has already been taxed and it's not going to be taxed anymore. So they are even better inside of a Roth because everything will grow tax free. So I am evicting these things from my taxable account and I'm going to be transferring them to their new home in the self-directed IRA. It's not a Roth, but it's better than paying my full income tax rate in the taxable account. Now, you need to make sure that this makes sense for you and look at your own situation as everybody and everything is different. So if it makes sense for you, cool, do it. So we're going to look at the stash worthy bonds and acorns accounts right now. And we're going to see what's going on with those. But before I get to those, we're going to take a tour of the taxable and the uh, self-directed IRA accounts. So let's get to it. All right, we're going to click on my weekly roundup for my Dapper Dividends account. This is my website, and if you want, you can come in and read my little spiel and round up, but let's get into it. In my taxable, what did I buy? So I actually received dividends I didn't get to buy. I'm jumping ahead of myself. How about we just go through the dividends received? 3M paid me $17.64. I love 3M. McDonald's, this is actually my busiest week for dividends. McDonald's, $12.50. Realty income, which is going to be this last dividend for this taxable portfolio, $5.60. Duke Energy, $10.62. I love Duke. I see you, Duke. And Prudential, $15.40. Pru, ticker symbol, gave me uh, for a total of $61.76 of dividend income in just my taxable account this week. The buys of the week. I buy more PepsiCo. Every week I'm buying one share so I can get to 100. Follow me and join me on this journey with Pepsi. Solid company. I had their Quaker Oats for breakfast this morning. I got uh, one share at $132.60. 3.0%. 3.0. 3.0. 3.08. Starting yield for an income of four dollars and nine cents. You're probably reading ahead of me. Don't do that. AbV two shares, eighty nine fifty six. I love AbV. Just a great blue chip company. Yes, their Humira patent is expiring, but and there's going to be a lot of biosimilar competition coming in. But I am not worried because they bought Allergan, and Allergan added a slew of new drugs and pharmaceuticals to their pipeline. Plus, look at that yield, 5.27% beats the pants off of any savings account. This is the AbV savings account. Who do you bank with? I bank with ABBV. I'm not familiar. That's AbV. Kimberly Clark, four shares, $145.65 average. That yields 2.94%. It's under the 3% that I like, but they do grow that dividend very nicely and steadily. That added 17 bucks of income to my account. Kimberly Clark. Diapers, Huggies, uh, I think people are going to keep having kids, so I think people are going to keep needing to buy diapers and wiping people's butts with toilet paper. Prudential. Now, the banking sector has been pretty beaten down, but guess what? Prudential is in the financial sector. Did I say banking sector? I don't know what I said, but either way, they are in the financial sector, 
and banking has been beaten down. Prudential is insurance. They are not banking, so I think they are going to be pulling through this, coming out nicely. And look at that, 6.42% starting yield on this share that I bought. Added four bucks of income. J&J, &J, just, a, I, I'm speechless. Look at, I don't know where to start. I could talk forever on Johnson & Johnson, but I'm not going to. Super stalwart, super safe. Ugh, losing my voice. 2.71%, $4 of added income. And then CVS, look at 4, 4, 4. The 4s four are fours are wild here today. CVS, I added two shares at 57 bucks. I do think I'm going to swing these shares because they are down low and I think they're going to pop up, but still 3.4% starting yield added a total of four bucks. So all in all this week, I added $43 of income. Now I did lose a bunch by selling the realty income, but that is okay because I will be getting some other stuff. I still have cash left over to deploy this week and next week. And then the breakdown uh, yearly is at $14.90. So I took a few steps back, but as it is right now, this is going to change. Don't worry. Don't get upset. I'm not panicked. You're calm. I'm calm. Everybody's calm. There's football on today. It is Sunday, and you can read this. 17 cents an hour I'm getting paid. So I just got paid 17 cents last hour. I love it. All right, let me just jump over to my self-directed IRA real quick here. Uh, I received dividends from Realty Income, 5 bucks. More 3M, $13.23. Con Ed, $7.65. Actually, Con Ed, one of my favorites. I think they are a super, super core stock that you should be holding because even with this EV craze, if we went fully EV, guess what we're going to need? Oh, yeah, more electricity. Guess who supplies electricity? Con Ed, thank you. McDonald's, you need electricity to make these hamburgers or run the grill. Well, that's gas. Yeah, you still, but you need it to power it, to run the lights. Hello, McDonald's needs electricity. $5 they gave me. Barrett Gold, ticker symbol G-O-L-D. $2 from Barrett Gold. I got paper gold, I got physical gold, I got jewelry gold, I got gold everywhere. So gold's paying me money, two bucks. And last but not least, once again, Duke Energy, ticker symbol D-U-K, $1.93. So I received $35.65 today, not today, this week. Only a few buys of the week. Realty income, 10 shares, $62.82 as the average 4.47% yield on those, which is super solid. Are you kidding me? Almost 4.5%. You get paid every single month. Yes, please. I will be buying more, but I think the price is going to be dropping a bit so I can do a little bit better. That's why I only bought, bleh, that's why I only bought 10. And then again, Kimberly Clark, $147.10, those two shares. Now, if you do, I did buy those at $145. So the average, you can see, is a little bit different, but it's okay. I buy, I'm holding, I'm collecting the annual income on those $8.56, $36.64 of added income. And then... The income break down $1,200 a year in the IRA. No taxes paid on this. Hello. $100 a month, $23 a week, three bucks a day, and 13 cents an hour. Five stars I will give myself. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Check it out right here. Apple was at $70, so it was the lowest of the three. So I get to buy myself some more Apple. As if you don't know, the lowest of the three is what I'm purchasing every single week. So I did buy Apple. Current value is $222.58. So I did get to buy Apple as it was the lowest of the three at $70, just beating out Johnson and Johnson. I've currently made $37.58 since March. Not bad on 185 bucks invested. Apple is still at 39%. And I'm getting closer to having that whole share I have. So almost three quarters of a share, getting close, reinvest in dividends. I love it. Like clockwork, it's just boring. You can see that I am getting rich slowly here. Five bucks a week, that's it. Five dollars a week and it just goes into whichever of these three is the lowest. That's how I'm doing it. Hello, Worthy Bonds. Hello, <laughs> Worthy Bonds has uh, Worthy Peer Capital won 
I have $51.30 total value. I've earned $1.32. That one, uh, I can't buy any more bonds because it was closed out. I only have five, and I will always have five until the 36-month period is up. Worthy Peer Capital 2. Check it out. $141.91. I do have 14 bonds. I've earned $1.91, but I am getting almost two cents a day every single day. So I add these two together. It's worth $143.23. The first of every month, I have two bonds going in. So a couple more weeks and I get two more bonds. Rocking and rolling, baby. All right, check this out. So what I did is I took $7,000 and I bought some worthy bonds. That was some emergency money, which I've since replenished. I wanted to be a little bit risky with it and chase some yield, but I've been so impressed with worthy bonds that it just made sense to me. It's a very good calculated risk in my opinion. John, 723 bonds I do have. I've earned $102.39 of interest already, and we see that I am getting one dollar and one cent per day pretty soon it's going to be now one dollar and two cents heck yeah one dollar two cents i put that seven thousand dollars in a hundred and one days ago 101 days ago that money went in and it is growing and will continue to grow and compound each and every day And hello, Acorns. Good afternoon. $219.74 of value in this account. I have a set on aggressive manual $5 going in todos jueves each and every Thursday, that is, for all of y'all that don't know a speak of the Espanol. I have currently gained $23.74 to bring me to my $219.74. If you don't know, you can scroll down and check out the performance breakdown. You can view your allocations by dollar amount, percentage amount, or share amount. And as always, with Acorns, I am not that big of a fan of it because it is ETFs. I'm paying uh, Acorns to pay BlackRock and Vanguard to run funds. If it was up to me, I would just cut out the middleman and invest directly into those ETFs through Schwab, Robinhood, wherever you use. Thank you. All right, here's my famous bar chart and check it out. Acorns is at 219 stash 222. We got Acorns creeping up the back. Acorns has pretty much been below stash the entire time, but it's getting close. Look at that. Stash is leveling off and Acorns coming up, coming up. We're going to see what happens next week. Stay tuned for the thrilling conclusion. Will Acorns catch Stash or will Stash still stay in the lead? So if you got value from this, definitely give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me your opinions in the comments below. I wanna hear what you're doing, what you're thinking, what you're investing in. If there's anything you wanna cover, if you, there's anything you want me to cover, let me know. Let's get a conversation going. And speaking of conversation, I'm on Twitter all the time. You can get a hold of me there. Uh, my handle is at RustyRam78. I also have a podcast that I do every Tuesday and Friday called Dapper Dividends. Of the same name, everything's all integrated. Dapper Dividends, YouTube, podcast, and website. I have a website that I do with my wife called DapperDividends.com. Check that out. She did some really nice work. She did two reviews. She did a backpack review and the top five travel toys. So check those out. Please do me a favor. And lastly, the disclaimer, well, hold on, before the disclaimer, I just want to have a little bit of an Easter egg here. Tell me what the word Gidunk means. If you're watching this, I want to know who the hardcore true loyalists are. Look up Gidunk. Tell me what Gidunk is. It's a word that I love that I've used quite a bit, and it goes back to the Navy days, and you'll be speaking like a sailor if you learn the word Gidunk. And now the disclaimer, I am not a licensed financial advisor. This is not financial advice. You need to do your own due diligence and research, evaluate your situation, and speak with a professional before putting any money into the stock market. Don't follow my advice because these are just my thoughts and opinions shared for fun and entertainment. So I will talk to you guys later and peace.